I've been meaning to film an updated art studio tour for a little while, but um... Yeah, I think I need to tidy up first. So I should probably quickly mention why my studio is so messy and that is because I have been really busy filming lots of videos for my brand new Patreon page and there's lots of content over there that's instructional and if you want to find out why I have a lemon and a John Singer Sargent watercolour book then you'll find the answer over there. I will put a link to the page down in the description below. If you feel like it, go check it out. I would really appreciate it. This literally looks like a vat of blood, but I promise you it's just gouache. Should I become one of those cleaning TikTok channels? So the one thing I didn't realise about this glass table that you may remember me putting together in my last art studio tour video is that glass is really really difficult to film with. First of all there's the reflection, so right now you can see there's the reflection of my window coming down which is just a nightmare and then also you can see all of the art supplies that are in the drawers underneath which doesn't look great because they're usually a bit of a mess. So I had to improvise and I basically have this vinyl that I got from Kmart. You might notice that this is the backdrop in all of my Instagram photos and I pretty much film everything on this. When it's zoomed in, you can't really notice that it is a <laughs> that it is vinyl and not wood. So that's just what I'm doing for now. I probably just need to get something that covers the whole table. Okay, so now it's looking a bit tidier, I'm going to show you how I've managed to fit three different desks into this tiny space, which is 1.5 by 2 meters. So in this area is where I film all of my watercolour and gouache paintings, and I have this tripod that is like an overhead arm tripod, which allows me to just use my phone to film things on here. And I just have all my standard things for watercolour here. I have this Tupperware, which probably isn't the prettiest way to hold my water, but it works for me. And then I have all my paints down here. I would ideally like to have these hanging on the wall, but this metal thing is so heavy that I've actually tried to attach it with those sticky wall hooks a few times and it's just fallen down. And yeah, I've just kept it there for now. I mean, I can still access it, so it doesn't bother me too much. And then over here, this is a new addition to the art studio. I've recently been getting more into oil painting, so I already had this tabletop easel, but I just brought in this very like slim desk that we had from Kmart. It's just a very cheap desk from Kmart. And I've just been using it as like my little oil painting area. And I just have all my brushes here and then I've just been putting my paintings under here when they're drying which probably isn't the best because I do sometimes accidentally kick them um, as you can see <laughs> happened with this painting and then finally I have my writing desk which originally was here but I've moved over here now and I just find that that's easier for me just to have it on that side so it is a bit of a tight squeeze but I do fit in here just about and you can see this this chair does fit just about in this space. You can spin all the way around on your chair. So I figure as long as I can spin this chair, that there's enough space for me to sit in the middle. And if I'm standing up doing watercolor painting, I'll just tuck the chair under here and just stand here like this. So even though it seems a bit cramped and it is a bit cramped, it does work well for me. And hopefully if you have a very, very tiny space like this, it is literally 1.5 by two meters. This might have given you some inspiration for ways that you can set things up that don't take up a lot of space. And as I mentioned, my Patreon is now live, which is filled with tutorials and ideas and inspiration. So go and check that out. If you haven't already, the link is in the description below and I'll see you next time.